big welcome today to Alex Stadler, the goalkeeper for the German men's national team. Good evening, Alex. How are you? Good evening. Thanks for having me. I'm good. Thank you. Well, it, we really appreciate it because I understand that you're, you, well, you've only just travelled uh, from Germany to Belgium, haven't you? You've had traffic all day, followed by a training session. How are you feeling? Are you, are you ready for the Pro League? You know, are you excited about it? Yeah, I'm ready and of course I'm excited because like all the circumstances that uh, the Belgians are bringing up with spectators, their homecoming from the Olympics probably will be cool. Yeah, I mean it's it's going to be it's going to be interesting for you guys, isn't it? Because as you say, you're walking into the Belgian team's sort of lion's den. You know, they're going to be celebrating their gold medal. Uh, they they're going to be celebrating everything the Belgian team have uh, have achieved over the past few years. How as a team have you got yourselves ready for the emotional and psychological impact that will have? Yeah, of course it's going to be like hard. Uh, for us um, to see them celebrating all the stuff they won and which they deserve. But um, on, on the other hand, it's quite cool because you like get to play in front of spectators uh, after a long time with all the COVID-19, without spectators. And I think you can just flip the switch and see it from a perspective to soak it all up and to get like started again with the national team after a long year with like ups and downs and yeah sure i mean i i watched all of your matches in tokyo and uh, i've got to say I, I thought you personally played brilliantly I, I thought you had a great tournament um and and Thank compared you. to many of the goalkeepers in tokyo i mean you're very young aren't you if you look at the if you look at a lot of them they're in their late 30s and what are you 22 yeah i'm 21 i'm turning 22 on um, saturday um, oh. at the pro league match so that's quite cool. Um, but yeah, I think me and Oli Payne, the uh, goalkeeper of Great Britain, were the two youngest and all the other goalkeepers, I think, were above 30. And we were yeah. like the only goalkeepers in our 20s. Yeah, we're both pretty young. We're the same age, I think. We're both 21. Yeah, well, happy birthday for Saturday. And let's hope you get a good result <laughs> on that day. But um, as, <laughs> a, as a young goalkeeper, I mean, what did you learn from that experience? Because that was it, it was incredible out in Tokyo, wasn't it? Regardless of the results, it was an incredible experience. Yeah, of course. I think like Olympics, Tokyo has been like um, amazing and on some points different because of COVID, but um, it was crazy. And as a young player with the first Olympics, you you learn a lot of new stuff. Like you you get to know where your weaknesses are. Like after the Olympics, I knew, okay, my weakness are there, my weaknesses, like, you really get to know them. After a long tournament, you really get to know all the other um, nationalities um, where you only get to play in a World Cup or at the Olympics. Um, yeah, for me as a young goalkeeper, it was, like, really helpful for my process and to learn a lot of stuff, yeah. 